If you're a fan of Marist College basketball, obviously you know who this is, but I'll introduce him anyway. Uh, redshirt senior guard, New Jersey, uh, Milo Kabich, how you doing? I'm good. How about you? Good. good. You know, hanging in there. Um, you know, last year you were one of two players uh, in the MAC to lead your team in points, assists, and rebounds, uh, and obviously you're returning this year. The last two years obviously haven't gone, you know, according to plan with uh, Coach Dunn. Uh, but all of a sudden, you guys find yourself with a lot more experience than a lot of other teams and a lot more uh, familiarity with each other, especially with, you know, COVID. Teams won't be able to practice as much or maybe build that chemistry. How has that worked to your advantage this year, you think? Uh, I'll say we, we have a lot of new guys, four to five new guys coming in as well. But we have mainly our starting five that we had last year that's coming back. So, I mean, it's helping us. It's helping us, but at the same time, we we're, we missed out on a lot of practice that, that we normally would have in the summer. So uh, us missing those practices, I guess it's, it's the only plus out of that is just us having the five coming back, being able to show the new guys, is it like the ropes, the new things and stuff. Yeah, and obviously that, you know, that's that's huge, especially with, you know, a lot of, a lot of these guys might not be able to, like other teams missing practices that don't have, you know, those those same guys. I um, mean, you know, I don't know if you pay attention to stuff like this, but I saw uh, Lindy Sports uh, College Basketball Preview. They listed Maris as a surprise team for the year. Uh, do you guys take any, you know, any pride in maybe being a surprise team, kind of being an underdog or, you know, proving people wrong? I mean, not at all, because at the end of the day, we, we still believe a lot. We lost a lot of games last year to the buzzer or by one or two, three points. Mm -hmm. uh, I won't even, like, I believe we're capable of winning a lot of games, especially in the MAC. It's just, you know, small possessions, mistakes that you uh, do early in the game could come back to haunt you at the end of the game. So being a surprise, I won't take that as, like, something to be happy about because I believe we can actually compete with every team. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you guys lost, you know, a couple games last year that were, you know, just by one possession or, or you know, or even two possessions at the end of the game. Obviously, you know, got to turn that around this year. Um, you guys have a Memphis transfer, uh, Victor No, whatever. Um, you know, you transfer a guy, what, Three years ago now. Yeah, um, three years ago. You've been able to, you know, help him with that transition, being a transfer yourself. I mean, yeah, it, it's different coming from like a high major like Memphis, but uh, just just the little things about how what co what our coaching staff likes, uh, and just trying to get him like get his head ready and prepare for like the mindset. Just you know, because like I said, coming from that high level, you know, those guys think of like just like NBA and things like that. So you yeah. know, just taking care of the small things, so he'll be ready to get on the court. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and I'll, you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but, you know, with COVID-19, COVID obviously your preparation has been uh, impacted. You know, you see it with college football, obviously Florida just shut down. Um, how confident are you in that there will be a season? And if there isn't a season, as a redshirt senior, would you come back if you got another year, year of eligibility? Uh, for, uh, with the corona, I, I'm really like, I'm hoping I have a season, man. Like, my, my future depends on it, but far as what, me coming back, uh, I probably, I definitely will. Definitely will, especially for basketball. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Dunn would be quite thrilled to hear that if, uh, you know, if it comes yeah. that, you know, with the campus shut down right now, right? It's looking crazy. Yeah. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, a lot going on. Um, all right, and then, you know, just before before I leave you, you know, obviously I know you're a Steelers fan. Uh, is Le'Veon Bell coming back? No, we don't need him. He's a cancer. I mean, he, I feel like, I feel like everywhere he goes, he destroys things. So, I mean, I was surprised that the Jets did that last night. But, yeah, honestly, I, I see the Chicago Bears grabbing them. They're the only team that I think that, can, they, that like, needs a running back, honestly. Oh, yeah, I heard it here first. <laughs> How about you? I think he's going to Cardinals. Cardinals? Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll uh, see, though. That'd be, that'd be lethal. All right, man. All right. Uh, you know, be well. Best of luck. Have a season. Be safe out there. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Peace, man. All right, bye.